see the back. Oh, come on, go closer, go closer. Look. Hi everyone, welcome guys. So we are in a new location. This is uh, Sam Propan's uh, Arboretum, uh, another one massive uh, or must visit place here in Sri Lanka. I will discuss later on what I have researched about this place. For now, we are closer to the entrance and uh, we were already so. I will insert the clip. We already saw uh, a type of bats before, which is very endemic and rare. And uh, found in this place which we, we we saw inside this i will uh, insert the clips after this yeah what what type of bats are they there's a specific name for them yeah it's, it's called false vampire bats ah the scientific name yeah, is look at the, the ears is very different yeah. Mm -hmm. These are the these are the ones having big ears when you compare with the 31 okay. varieties of Sri Lanka bats Oh. And now we are heading to this like a four four trails. This area have a four trails. So yellow as the longest trails and green is the the shortest trails. So we will be following the shortest trails since the plants that you will see in the long trails and the short trails are all just almost the same. For now, this is very interesting. Um, this is the way. I am going to turn the camera and you're gonna explore the place with me, guys. So. Here we go. For this one, this is very, very expensive uh, medicinal plant. Mm -hmm. Moraya piniculata. It's a very expensive one, right? Mm -hmm. So we, so, so we, we want to protect this one. So we put a peg like this and uh -huh. protect it. That's the way who cre he created the whole the, the, the whole oh, algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Come, I'll show you another better. Oh. Sometimes you can. Get a photograph of uh, this uh, gecko. Ah, gecko. Gecko. What is this place? This is the the we did this one to show off, you know, like an armory. Right? Ah, ah it like looks like an armory. But then you know, he put it only water pump here. Ah. <laughs> it's only a water pump. Okay. So here we will see some bats. Oh, see the bats. See the bats. Oh, come on, go closer, go closer. Look, this is a different this, type uh, of this bats. Is, yeah, this is this is this one called horseshoe bat. A oh. horseshoe. Ah, so it's different from the other one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely yeah. different. And this one, it's like they can can be separated, like. Yeah, yeah. But the other bats are they're all together. Yeah. He... Hmm. They're hanging, huh? Mm. <laughs> wow. Look at that. This is my first close encounter with the bats. And it's very... Nice one. Mm -hmm. This is the place we put his water tank. You better go to Green Tree. Ah, Green Tree. Okay. So, we will just... there. There's the marking. Yeah, yeah. You can just... Ah, uh, okay. Green, green one is there. Right? Mm -hmm. Another green one is there. All so, right. This is, number, like, this is number three, right? Number four, number five, number six, like that. Ah, ah okay. okay. But then it will come back on a different way? Yeah, different way. Ah, okay, okay. okay. All, All right. right. Okay, then. Well, okay. See you soon. Then. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Normally, it will take like a half an hour. Yeah, try to be a common half an hour because getting that you can Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So, since this is an arboretum, you will see a lot of... Um, of animals, species of animals, mammals, birds, butterflies, so if you love nature, this is a must place to visit. And uh, on the entrance that uh, I will show again later, the one of the the the, the house um, that designed by Jeffrey Bawa, which is the the world known um, architect. So now because it's getting dark, we will be following the the shorter trail, and that's the green trail. So. We just started here, so we'll go around. The highlight, actually, of the visit here is the night trail. But we're not going to take the night trail. On the night trail, normally, you will see the, the type of lorries, which is very endemic and can be seen in Sri Lanka. Lorries look like, maybe this one, if I can find a picture, I will post the picture here. It's uh, look like a tarsier. 
So, but we were not going to, to do the night trail. So, we will try to finish before dark. So, I'm going to turn the camera and uh, let's walk together to this area. And, uh, yeah, we will see what we can see. <laughs> Jos Spiros. In this area, uh, that guy told us that you can even sponsor a tree in this area. There, so there will be a lot of uh, species of uh, varieties of uh, endemic types of plants and trees. So, and they said sometimes you can see some deer, some elephant. No, there's no elephant. So. The yellow one will go here. This so you will see some marks like this. So we are following the green track. Green trail. So we are in the middle of the forest. So we're already back out and we are not going to go with the night trail because 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 we checked before the, the the rare kind of bats and on the top they said there's a, a pub used to be the used to be pub. the owner's pub so that area this is a, like a kitchen or a pub area of this this whole area is built look like a ship and this this is designed by the well-known architect uh, Geoffrey Bauer. So guys, uh, we completed our uh, short trail. The, we followed the green trail, like I previously mentioned, that here in uh, Popan's uh, Apuridum, there's a four trail that you can follow. And every trail, there will be a specific um, uh, special uh, uh, things, like, like in the pink trail, I think you can have the bird watching, the yellow trail is the longest one. Uh, you will have a, a, a piece of a short orientation on the entrance you have the office right here but anyway just a short recap of the history of this um, 
uh, uh, Propan's arboretum. This is discovered by Sam Propan, an Englishman who came to Sri Lanka during the Second World War as a naval officer. And then after then, after the war, he went back to England. And then uh, a few years later, he came back to Sri Lanka. And uh, for a few years, he worked as a tea planter in Sri Lanka. And then um, on 1963, he just gave up uh, his work as a tea planter and they started to work in the Ceylon uh, flora or something like this group. And then he bought the seven and a half acres of, um, actually this is like a Chena, Chena land, abandoned land, uh, shrub, because uh, when during the World War II, when, uh, the Second World War, when he was here in Sri Lanka, he was assigned in Trincomalee and uh, he used to travel from Dambula, passing Dambula, and he always amazed of the vegetation in Dambula. So, so he decided to bought a seven and a half acre, and um, he dedicated himself on his passion of trees. So, uh, with this seven and a half acre, he started this um, the only uh, dry zone, uh, the only dry zone arboretum in Sri Lanka. So, by then. Um, he spent his life there from 1963 doing that and then 1980 something I, I, I really forget what is the exact year but on the 1980s he gave his labor of love to the IFS of Sri Lanka which is the International Fundamental um, uh, I forget IFS yeah so anyway so until now this is still run by the same organization the purpose of this is for conservation of the wild trees like you know like 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 trees that are very rare to find endemic trees and in this area there will be like more than um, I think 180 plus of different trees in total that includes flowering plants trees and scrubs and then there will be a lot species of uh, how a huge species of um, uh, birds dragonflies and mammals and then like like in the and if you watch my video from the start there will be a clip of like uh, showing the two types of bats that's only two types of the bats the um, the highlight of the visit in this place will be a night trail so the night trail you will be able to find the rare and endemic um, type of loris that's a gray loris that you can find here in this in this place so that will be in the night trail and then the pangolin if you're lucky you will spot some pangolin and sometimes even in the morning time although we we spot nothing today but there are some times that if you're lucky enough you can spot um wild deer uh eagle a fall there's a lot of birds that you can spot in this area so anyway guys um this is another place that you must visit you must include in your travel list and then again uh if you're worrying about your 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 travel uh, ivisa.com is the answer for that you can check the check the link in the description box below because with ivisa.com they will take care of everything you need for your travel um, and now with this um, current situation the pandemic uh, ivisa also can look after your your travel like in the health side that it will enable you to travel safely in any country that you want so whatever your nationalities whichever country you want you want to travel within your country or you want to travel out of the country ibisa.com has the answer to all your travel needs so please guys do check the link in the description below uh, so again here at uh, this is the aka again here at the propans uh, aporitum Sri Dambula, Sri Lanka. All oh, guys, on my next travel and my next vlog. And for those of you who still not subscribed to my channel, you know that I I am doing a travel vlogs in Sri Lanka. So if you don't want to miss all my travels, please subscribe and click that bell notification so you will get notified with my future travel. And if you have any suggestion, any place you want me to go to discover and to see here in Sri Lanka, please drop your comments box below, guys. And I love you all, guys. See you.